Today we are going to talk about a topic that people may not see as as a big deal. You know, your awareness about here and now. Knowing what surrounds you. Knowing what you are thinking about. Knowing your environment. That is what I mean by improving your awareness. A Chinese philosopher, Lao Tzu, once said, great wisdom looks like stupidity. What is this guy talking about? Your awareness? Am I not aware of what is happening? People might ask, but you may not know what is around you. You may be just be there on autopilot. Autopilot is you are just moving to a direction automatically. Now, as Muslims, I'm a Muslim. We have a great teacher, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, said the greatest jihad. Jihad is a battle. The greatest battle is the battle you fight with your soul. The battle you fight with your soul. The battle, the struggle you have with your soul. Fighting the evil within you. Everybody has that struggle. It's not limited to one, two, three people. Your thoughts coming through. Some are positive, some are negative. The greatest battle you will have or you have is the fight with your soul. How? Because not everything you do is righteous. Righteous, I mean things that are positive. Sometimes you do things that annoy people. Sometimes you do things that please people. Sometimes you do things that annoys you. Sometimes you do things that pleases you. This is the battle that we are talking about. This here and now, here and now, the thoughts you are having here and now, being aware of that is very key to your personal development. This thing may look a bit, you know, very simple. But if you can be aware what is coming through your mind and select those thoughts that serve your purpose, then you are one step ahead. Ahead of, of, of who? Of those who do not have that awareness. Another great saying of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the strongest amongst you is one who controls his anger. How can you control your anger? You can control your anger when you know your emotion. When you know the thoughts that you are processing that will trigger that emotion of anger. That is still we are on awareness, knowing what you are thinking, knowing your environment, knowing the people around you. Prophet Muhammad wasallam says, the strongest amongst you is the one who controls his anger. The strongest amongst you is the one who controls his anger. You can control your anger when you know that you are getting angry. Then you can cool down, control yourself. That is being aware of your thought, being aware of the people surrounds you, being aware of your environment. Self-awareness, environmental awareness, people awareness is key to your success. Again, Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him says, 
the best amongst you are those who have the best manners and character. Manners and character comes through being aware of your thoughts, your emotions, your attitude. The key here, today we are talking about is being aware of yourself, your environment, your surroundings. That is key. Be aware of your thoughts because your thoughts translate into your actions. Your actions translate into your character. This is how it is. Why would you take the time to study these materials? Why, why would I take time to do this research, come back and tell you why? Two reasons. Number one, primarily, is to improve myself. By repeating and teaching you this material, I'm teaching myself. Number two, I'm improving you. I'm teaching you. And when I teach you, I'm improving myself as well. So, if it is your first time you are coming across this material, this video, please hit subscribe and turn on notification. This is a channel for you to grow. You cannot be a great leader if you have not to grow as a person. And we are growing you. I'm growing you so that I'm helping you to grow so that you can also be a great leader. You have responsibility. This is your responsibility to help yourself grow. People can give you resources. People can teach you materials. But ultimately, it comes down to your willingness to take the steps of personal growth. No leadership without personal growth. No wealth without personal growth. No family. No family in relations. No good family relations without personal development. This is key for you to be happy, for you to be peaceful.